Shalom, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Yahweh Kadash, Double Honor to the Apostle Great Millstone, Shalom to the hopeful elect on the four corners of the earth. I'm going to jump straight into the scriptures. <coughs> the title of this video is Warn Thy People From Me. And from me is talking about the Heavenly Father, not me, myself, and I. I'm talking about the Heavenly Father. As a prophet, Lord willing I am, we're out here prophesying in the downfall of this wicked kingdom and Esau's Esau, um, it's like it, Esau's uh, rulership. And, you know, I'm going to bring out a couple quick scriptures, but at the you know, end of the day, this is this is this is what's happening. This is the reality. And the rest of the people are blinded. You know, they're not they're not. They're not, uh, they're not in the know, which nor do they care about being in the know. So I'm going to read Isaiah chapter six, verse, verse nine. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not and seek ye indeed, but perceive not mark the heart of this people fat and make their Ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So, there you go. We go out here on the highways and byways and tell these people the truth and only the truth. And they don't, they can't understand because the Lord sends, has sent angels down, you know, to make the heart of the people fat, which is their mind, and to make their ears heavy and shut their eyes because all this, everything is spiritual. All this is spiritual. When you open this book, this is a spiritual book. I mean, if it's made from the elements, which everything is. It's spiritual. Even a rock has, you know, I don't want to get too deep into it, but even a rock has um, a spirit because it's made from the elements. There's something, there's a force field, there's energy behind it. But the people that we talk to on the highways and byways, if the Lord's not dealing with them, guess what? They're not going to understand. So, nor, sh you know, don't try to, you know, anybody new, don't try to force your family members don't try to force anyone to understand this because they're not going to understand and they're not going to get it. Point blank, period. You know, the Lord, if the Lord's not dealing with them, the Lord's not supping with them, they're not going to understand. They're not going to understand even the simplest things like, uh, well, just like Yahweh Shai said, Yahweh Shai said, if, if I told you spirit, um, if I told you heaven, it's like if I told you earthly things and you believe not, how can I tell you um, heavenly things? If I'm telling you that the that World War III is going to pop off, if I'm telling you that famine is going to come, pestilence, plagues, if I'm telling you that, uh, you know, so-called UFOs are the angels of the Lord and they're not aliens, if I told you that, I mean, and some most of the stuff I'm saying is all heavenly things but I'm saying if I'm telling you that martial law is going to happen and you can't understand that or, or see it through the news media YouTube world through the so-called conspiracy theory theory channels this and forth you can't see the downfall of this place through so many examples that the Lord is putting out that wickedness is increasing etc then how can I tell you Anything spiritual. How can I tell you th anything uh, heavenly? This is, you know, like it, talking to talking to Jake's in the world is like talking to. I mean, I, I have to say it, it's like talking to a, 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 a retard because at the end of the day, you're telling them the truth and isn't and, and, and it's and they they deny it. 
And they deny things that they even they can see for themselves, but they don't want to believe because they're too scared, because they don't have faith, and because the Lord hasn't given them faith. Faith is a gift from the Lord. That's faith is a, 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 it's a spirit from the Lord. It's like a, a it's just like we're Lord willing, we are of the elect, right? It's like we're antennas for the for for we're antennas slash computers for Yahweh Yahweh and the Lord sends us via Wi-Fi, aka through the Spirit, signals and information, visions, dreams, etc., to tell the people, which really tell the to tell the elect through through YouTube Road and on the highways and byways. And we're connected. We're connected to Yahweh Yahweh Shai. But guess what? The two thirds, the Lord hasn't activated them to to, to 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 receive to receive any type of information or signal or whatever you want to call it from the heavenly from the heavens from another dimension. Being able to being able starting off with the apostles and the elders on down to be able to break down these scriptures and find. The history and this down and forth, that's the Lord supping with 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 those those great men. Because these, these scriptures are written in parables, dark sayings, cold, in other words. You know. But uh <clears throat> the Lord, you know, overall the Lord has made the Lord has made uh the peop the, the, the minds of the people, the two thirds, really. Uh, their ears fat. They're not. They they their ears fat and their eyes blind. In other words, they 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 can't. They will not understand until it's too late. Because when once every every eye shall see, um, Yahweh and the host of heaven crack them clouds. Everything that we've been prophesying, which Lord willing us the prophets, Lord willing us the elect, they're gonna see. It's going to be a big, I told you so. So, I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 28. Just like 28 verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophets, the prophets before me. They they doing they're doing what we do that we're doing now, but except for we have the full understanding. Yahweh Shai broke the seals thereof, you know, for us to get the full knowledge. Starting off being taught by the apostles and and, and elders under them, the breakdowns and 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 this that, and the forth to prophesy both against many countries, aka Babylon, America, Russia, uh, uh um, is the the the. The land of Israel, Iran, Iraq, China, North Korea, Japan, and against great kingdoms, Russia, again, America, a.k.a. Babylon, you know, of war, World War One, World War Two, but ultimately we're prophesying against what? World War Three, the, 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 the end of all wars and of evil. And in end of evil, which are evil times, evil days soon to come, you know, and of pestilence and pestilence is going on right now with this this virus that has the whole world in a chokehold all uh, done by um done by Esau. And this is the lead up to Jacob's trouble. Because before we, we, we prophesy, right, prophesy meaning to say before we prophesy. And we've been telling in, uh, through the spirit, the apostles and the elders on down have been telling people, Jeremiah chapter, um, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse seven, alas, for the day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble for he shall be saved out of it. So alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. There's not going to be any other time like this on the earth, period. Point blank period. There's not going to be no other time on earth and on this earth, on this planet, like Jacob's trouble. 
And Jacob's trouble is Israel's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And who's he? The elect, the men that, that the Lord has, uh, um, <coughs> the Lord that, that the elect that, uh, you know, those elect men that have the thawa, that mark of, of, of exemption because they did their job. They feared the Lord. They kept it. They they prophesied and kept it moving and went through what they had to go through. And they and they're gonna be rewarded. They're gonna be rewarded for their for their works and for doing their job and not bitching up. Point blank. Period. You know, so. There's no, like I, I've said before, there's no gray area. There's no gray area with the Lord. You know, there, you're either you're either for the Lord or you're not. You're either gonna you're either gonna do you're either gonna seek the Lord or you're not. You know, and and, and the Lord you don't seek the Lord, because the Scripture says many are called, few are chosen, right? So I, I I'll go with um. <clears throat> I'm gonna read uh, Matthew chapter twenty four verse thirteen. But he that shall, but he that shall endure it until the end, the same shall be saved. Endure what? Jacob's trouble. Not not giving up what what the Lord has uh, given you, which is the law, the, the 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 wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, and to be and, and, and the law, statutes, commandments that should be applied to your life. Verse 14, And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the wor world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And that's going into, once all the elect are sealed, then the end shall come. Once this, 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 these scriptures, the law, the, uh, the, the Bible is being, is preached on all four corners of the earth, which is, it's, it's spreading like a wildfire. It's it's over, and once the elect are sealed, once the Lord sees fit, everything is done to His liking. Then the Lord is going to come, and then the Lord is going to come like a what thief in the night. Thus saith the Lord. So, um, you know. I'm going to read uh, for, again, something simple because, I, you know, I, I like to keep it simple and straight to the point. So there's no confusion and back and forth argument or whatever and stupid ass comments. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So. You two thirds are fools because you despise wisdom and, and instruction. You despise life. You despise wanting to do what is right, which is the law, statutes, commandments, converting thy soul, which is perfect. You don't fear the Lord. So you're going to be consumed. Consumed by what? Fire. What fire? The ICBM missiles that's going to rain down on here in, during World War III. But before that, FEMA camps, martial law. Dogs to tear, pestilence, famine, a lot of things to come. That's what we're prophesying. The destruction of this place and very evil days to come. And if you don't have the fear of the Lord, how is the Lord going to, to how is the Lord going to protect you? Why would the Lord protect you? Because the Lord won't protect you if you don't fear the Lord. And that's the beginning of knowledge. And then it comes down with, after that, it comes down with the breakdowns and the, you know, precepts and, 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 but most, first of, most uh, of all, applying what you have learned in the truth and what you have, because the Lord gives you, gives you your portion. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Krakadash, double honesty, apostles of great millstone, and shalom to the hopeful elect.